So the GoPro 12 is ready to pre-order, but should you consider it? How much of an upgrade is it really? So pretty much everything that's been upgraded is software based. We're seeing new additions like HDR video. We're also now able to connect our Bluetooth AirPods and hopefully microphones as well. Hopefully something decent will be able to connect through Bluetooth so you can get some high quality recording. And also the addition of time sync so you can synchronize your cameras uh, to make sure that they're totally 100% accurate so that when you're doing multi-cam edits then it makes that a lot easier. Uh, the addition of 9x16 crop mode so you don't have to do it in post-production and there's some minor UI upgrades but all of that is software based. Um, one thing they have done is improve battery life but it looks like that now was done by disabling GPS. Now I say disabling GPS because part of me still thinks that the GPS hardware is still inside the camera, they're just not turning it on. So maybe we'll be able to turn it on later on or through GoPro Labs. Now when we look at the actual specs between the GoPro 12 and the GoPro 11, you can see that it's basically the same in every single way. Even the Bluetooth version is the same, it's just they haven't enabled the features until now. So, will these features come to the 11? No, that's just not how GoPro works. We've seen this in previous generations where things have been software based and they just don't become available to other cameras. There's also a new accessory coming and that is the extension pole with a waterproof shutter remote. So the waterproof shutter remote, I believe will be a standalone unit as well because I've seen it as an accessory on one of the pages. So I'll try and dig that image out now so I can show you. It's a great replacement for the El Grande because first of all, it's 10 inches longer at its longest length, which for an already really long pole, that's fantastic. And it has the shutter button just attached to it, which simplifies things a bit and it's waterproof. But then I'm kind of like, why does it exist at all? Because we already have a waterproof remote. So why do we need a new one? So my belief is that they will record the GPS into that remote as well, which is kind of the exact same thing that DJI are doing with their remote. Um, and that's their solution to overheating. And hopefully, the GPS stuff is still inside the camera, so the more advanced users can unlock it in GoPro Labs. I think that would be a great compromise and keep everyone happy, because it is a shame to disable GPS or remove it entirely if that's what they've done. But anyway, pre-orders now, it's a fantastic price to get your pre-order in, so if you were considering any GoPro camera at the moment, then definitely pre-order the 12, because it's a very, very good price at the moment. Is it worth upgrading from the 11? You can do log with GoPro Labs. I don't know if it's exactly the same yet because I haven't got them both in my hands, but I will be doing some testing, so subscribe if you want to see uh, how that goes. And then we'll see if you really need to upgrade to the GoPro 12, or if you can just turn your 11 into a 12 with GoPro Labs. I'll let you know. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting my hands on it, as I am with the 12 and the Max Lens Mod 2, which should be compatible with the 11, but at the moment it's not. Well, anyway, let's see how this goes, and I'll see you in the next one.